Once again we have come at the presence of Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank God for these beautiful moments where we spend our time with the Lord, a Master and Saviour. We time with the God who forgives our sins. We spend our time with the God who knows all that is going on in our life. We are spending time with the God for him nothing is impossible in our lives. And we are spending time with the God who always showers his mercy upon us in silence thanking God giving honor and glory to the most high especially today all the activities of today all that we have done and all the help that we received from God Let us thank God for everything in silence. As we are almost to close this day and the activities of this evening, as we are preparing ourselves to go and take a good rest, this is the time. A wonderful time with the God, giving glory and honor. acknowledging the powerful presence of Christ in life spend a couple of moments one or two minutes in silence giving glory and honor to God also have a self examine of conscience if i have done anything wrong today the moment i did not take jesus so seriously in my personal life say sorry to god as pardon for all our failures and shortcomings let us spend time in a beautiful manner coming one or two minutes
this morning through the gospel passage we heard we have a responsibility to witness christ love in this present world there are trials and challenges with every single follower of christ when we look at our personal life every day we have enough fun more struggles challenges difficulties but jesus strengthened each one of us through today's gospel passage jesus speaks to us my spirit will help you to speak what you want to speak and my presence will always follow you and your reward will be highest in heaven jesus also mentioned today all those who want to lead a holy life in the name of jesus will be persecuted jesus warns the world will persecute you because it persecuted me in the beginning so dear loving children of god we have in a fine more burdens of every day we are struggling in different ways right now not only with the covid-19 pandemic maybe the consequences of this pandemic or in personal life in various aspects of life we are struggling this is the time the word of god comes to everyone he says come to me all you who labor and burden i will give you rest Jesus said it early if you are a follower of Christ if you are a disciple of Christ there will be persecutions there will be struggles and challenges in your life because you stand for me they are loving children of god in silence two or three minutes surrender our struggles our challenges whatever that we are facing today whatever it may be personally or as family offer to god at the feet of jesus maybe we are we have these struggles because we stand for christ we stand for principles and values and truth that is the reason maybe we have this challenges in life don't lose heart god will look after his children look at him and try to surrender our struggles our burdens our challenges with a complete trust and faith in him two or three minutes in silence let us do this
surrendering our struggles and challenges and burdens this is the time we intercede for the whole world people just like us struggling in this part of the world people just like us surrendering and struggling and having the burdens from different corners of this planet especially connected with this covid-19 virus let us lift up all the covid-19 patients in ventilators right now all those who are admitted in the hospital connected with this particular virus lord we pray with the faith we keep on praying for all the patients have mercy on them bless them and heal them we do remember all the nursing staff and all the health care departments all the doctors and nurses looking after all the patients especially at this time those who are tirelessly working from different parts of the world we offer them lord help them at this time strengthen them take away their stress and fear and worries bless their families especially their children let us offer people who lost their jobs past weeks and months thousands of people lost their jobs due to this pandemic thousands of families are struggling thousands of relationships are broken due to this financial status or financial crisis we offer it up to the lord lord help those people who are searching desperately for a job help those families where people are struggling due to financial crisis lord give them a hope show them a way out from this particular situations we lift up all the prayer intentions and petitions that we received at the divine retreat center today all the prayer comments that we received through our facebook page and youtube channel and all other media that we received lord extend your hand upon those petitions bless your children we do remember all the people who are attending this family retreat who are here and who have gone to their rest lord bless them help them through this retreat let them experience your love more and more than anything else the love of god because you loved us first let us also remember our families our parents our siblings
say a small prayer for our close family members wherever they are right now surrendering our prayers and petitions keeping our trust in Jesus let us recite Psalm 91 assurance of God's protection you who live in the shelter of the most high who abide in the shadow of the almighty will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust for he will cover you for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler you will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wasted noon day a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the lord your refuge the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you No scourge come near your tent, for he will command you, his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, wherever you are, if possible, kneel down. Let us sing down in adoration and enter into benediction.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament, of your body and blood, help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. Amen.